Hey everyone, welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and uh, in today's video I'll show you that uh, how to change the clouds and uh, how to change the background of any image using AI and uh, it's very easy and uh, the results are really amazing. So we'll be doing it using the tool that is uh, Firefly and it is launched by Adobe and it is completely free to use. So let me show you that how to do it and without any further delays, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is open your web browser and then go to the website firefly.adobe.com. After opening the website, you have to log in using your Adobe account. If you haven't created any account yet, just go ahead and sign up for an account. And once you're done, sign in and then you'll see this page over here. So once you see the page, if you scroll down a little bit, it will give you multiple options like uh, change text to image. This can be used to generate images using text prompts. Whatever you write, it converts it into an image. And this is the generative fill, which we are going to use in today's video. So let me click on generate over here and then it will ask me to upload a sample image. So for example, suppose if I have an image of my own or uh, any image, uh, for example, let me take an example image. I'll click on upload image and first let's try to change uh, the clothes of uh, a girl who is standing. So I'll upload it here and uh, using the mouse pointer you can uh, make the adjustments and uh, right now I can see that uh, this seems to be really big so I'll just go to settings and in the brush size I'll uh, reduce it a little bit and then now let me try to zoom the photo that, so that I'll be able to select it and uh, before doing that uh, suppose if we want to change the background i do not like the background which is here as of now so simply click on background over here and uh, the ai it will automatically detect the background and will remove it so as you can see over here the background has been completely removed and uh, there's nothing else in the background now we can use a prompt to generate a background so uh, suppose I need a background of uh, maybe something mountains so let me try uh, mountain background with snow with snow and click on generate after clicking on generate AI will start working and uh, it will uh, give you some sample images with the different backgrounds that will match the prompt that we have entered in the text box we just have to wait for a little while so as you can see here uh, this is pretty good like uh, the background has been changed and there are some other samples as well so you can click here here this one so whatever background you like you can choose it and if you want to generate more samples you just can click on more and it will start generating more images for you so let's wait and see all right i did not like this one i did not like it uh, this one is also not good This one seems to be fine for me uh, so let's do the editing over here so I'll click on keep after clicking on keep uh, the background will be set for now and uh, let's change the clothes that she is wearing and for that I need to zoom it a little bit further the image quality is not too good the sample image that I have so that is why you can see that uh, it's pixelated but no need to worry uh, you can use any image that you have high quality high resolution images also work over here so no need to worry about it now let's try changing the clothes and for that I'll click on insert and uh, let's go to settings and increase the brush size okay cool now let's uh, select the area which I want to remove 
let me select her here as well because I want to give some additional space for the clothes and uh, let's make the adjustments if you want you can remove the hands as well because AI will generate new hands for her so let's see what's the result of uh, all these adjustments uh, I'm not sure how is it going to look because in my previous tests with the high resolution pictures the results were pretty amazing and uh, I can see that uh, the Firefly of Adobe is working really great okay so I think we are done now we have removed the part of the uh, top and uh, let's try to generate a jacket for her so I'll just mention uh, jacket for winter let's mention furry furry jacket for winter and click on generate let's see how does it work I think I missed a spot <laughs> okay no issues so here you can see that uh, it will generate some sample dresses for her so this is the first one this one is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one I think this one looks good because it has generated hands as well and uh, let's try with some other samples also okay this one's fine this one also looks good she has got hand gloves as well and this one is also looking good right I think I will go with the uh, the previous one with this one okay so this with this one we can uh, uh, click on keep or if you want uh, suppose if you want you can create a different kind of uh, dresses as well for example if we want a denim jacket for her uh, we can do it but now I think for the background I think uh, this one would be fine and we can click on keep that is okay if you want to change uh, uh, the pants as well so for that you just have to select the area which you want to change and then uh, do the adjustments so I'll just go here select this one the legs part and let's try some jeans denim jeans and click on generate and let's see how does it look okay so we have got a jeans with separate variants I think the first one looks good to me so okay uh, we can use this one as the final image and uh, click on keep so now you can see that we have got uh, an image if you want to change the shoes as well uh, we have the option you just can select the area for the shoes let me go up a little and click on uh, winter shoes or winter boots select okay we have got some boots which do not look good all right I, I won't change the boots uh, whatever she has uh, it is fine uh, now if you want you can make some other changes as well for example suppose if I want a polar bear over here so in this area I'll just uh, paint it I'll just remove it 
and uh, mention something like polar bear and click on generate let's see what's the result all right so we have got a polar bear standing over there and this is another variant this one is another this one is another yeah this one looks good okay and uh, uh, what else let's try to do some experiment as well uh, uh, let's try with a wolf as well so here I want a wolf standing so I'll just keep the polar bear over here and then uh, select this area and type snow wolf or mountain wolf generate <laughs> okay we have got a wolf sitting over there this one is walking this one looks cool okay so we can go with this final image if you want to make any other adjustments if you want to add anything else it's completely up to your imagination your creativity and uh, you can do whatever you want with the picture change the dresses change the hair whatever you like um, this video is just for the demonstration that how can you do it and I'm not going to take much time for uh, of, uh, with this picture so let's click on keep and uh, to finalize it I'll just click on download and click on desktop and save it so once it is saved I can go here and if I double click over here you'll see that we have got the final image and this one that you have got Adobe Firefly beta image not for commercial use if you want you can uh, uh, remove this one as well using the content aware fill of Photoshop so I'll show you to you how how to do it so simply just go if you have installed Adobe Photoshop CC or any latest version of Adobe Photoshop you'll be able to uh, do these adjustments you'll be able to remove this watermark also and for that let me open the image it's taking a little time so we just have to wait over here okay so Photoshop has opened and uh, if I want to apply the generative fill for this one I will simply use the lasso tool select this area and go here done right click over here content aware fill and it will show you the preview and click on ok that is it okay so you can see that uh, the watermark has also been removed this area has been filled up you can go to save and close it now if I open this image you'll see that there is no watermark there's nothing uh, it's all just the pure image with the editing that you have made alright so let's try with a different image uh, I'll delete this one I do not need it so <laughs> let's open a different image I will go back to generative fill upload image and select another image of a man who is sitting in the office and now for this guy let's try to remove his shirt and uh, try to give him a denim or maybe a, a jacket or suit something so yeah let's try let's try so I will zoom it a little bit further reduce the brush size a little and okay seems good select the border of his hands if you want you can zoom it a little bit further and then select the area more precisely mm, 
now if I want I can uh, increase the brush size so that we can remove this center part a little bit quickly Now I need to reduce the brush size for more accuracy. Okay, almost done. And that is it. Now let me see. Okay, looks good. Uh, now you have to give the prompt in the text bar and uh, let's try suit so let's see how his outfit changes magically using the AI all right so this one is a little bit okay this is also fine uh, this one looks better uh, than the other variants and uh, uh, this one is okay let's try to change his hair as well and see how it turns out so for the hair I'll have to select the area uh, I'll keep this one and Let's try with the wavy hair and let's see how does it look. <laughs> okay. Right, so I think I'll go with this one. Uh, we can click on keep. And yes, so that is it. This is the image that uh, you have got. And. Alright, so if you want, you can just uh, click on download and save it. If you want to do further experiments, you can choose any of your own pictures, change the dresses, change the background, add anything. For example, suppose if we want to add a flower vase over here, I'll select this area. And let's type something. Flower vase and see. How does it look? Okay. Hmm, this one seems better because it has kept the focus balanced. So right now the focus of the lens is on this man and uh, so that is why the vase looks like this one so this one is okay we can click on keep and uh, so yeah that is it uh, so this is it for today and if you need more uh, expertise on this one I'll suggest that go ahead and uh, try it out upload different photos of yours and do some experiments change the background change the dresses add different objects and do whatever you want to do and uh, using these things uh, once you get expertise you'll be able to generate more realistic ai images that look good so that's all for today with this uh, let's uh, end the video so thank you everyone for uh, watching the video if you liked it uh, do share it with your friends and uh, yeah do not forget to subscribe the channel and uh, Press the bell icon as well so that uh, any video which I'll be uploading, you'll be getting a notification for that. So thanks again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.